All right, we want to turn things over to Jill Zwed, who's here with the Certified Most Accurate Forecast. A lot of people probably had some plans for this Memorial Day, but they might need to change them. Yeah, very similar to the past couple of days. We've been dodging thunderstorms at times, and that will continue today. But things are going to be up and running pretty quickly here this Memorial Day morning. Things are nice and quiet as we overlook downtown now with Action Cam. But just to our west, some heavy rain with embedded thunderstorms knocking on the doorstep. Some of you in Beaver County already dealing with an action this morning that is spreading towards uh, Newcastle as well, where you can see a number of lightning strikes there. Also, decent downpour sweeping across Elwood City. As you look back from Beaver East, uh, back towards East Liverpool, that's some of the heavier rain at this point. These thunderstorms are not severe, but certainly packing a punch with the heavy rainfall, the thunder, the lightning, potentially some gusty winds, and even some pea-sized hail, especially with that cell that is tracking just south of Beaver. They'll be heading towards Aliquippa here over the next five to ten minutes. The line does continue back through parts of the northern panhandle West Virginia. Some of that activity is starting to spread towards Washington, Waynesburg. Not quite as much lightning on the southern end, but certainly an unsettled start to the day. We will see additional waves of rain developing as we go through the day, but there will be a break later on this morning through the early parts of the afternoon. Breezy in between these rounds of rain. Temperatures not quite as warm as they were yesterday or even Saturday as we'll be checking in in the upper 70s. The severe weather alert part of the day is later on this afternoon. Isolated to spotty severe storms are expected once again today, very similar to the past few rounds. Some damaging winds, a large hail possible, any thunder and lightning with a thunderstorm obviously will be bringing you indoors and some heavy rain could lead to more flash flooding issues. So here goes the morning rain uh, should be exiting to the north and east as you go towards 9 at 10 o'clock. So good timing for some of the parades. Remembrance ceremonies will be happening a little later on this morning across western Pennsylvania. Again, not done just yet. Maybe some hints of sunshine, a little breezy, really starting to stir up the atmosphere for a cold front that approaches late this afternoon into the evening hours. That's where we could fire off a few strong and severe thunderstorms. Eventually, things will taper off after dark. Still, Patterns going to stay a little unsettled as we walk through these final days of May. More scattered showers coming our way on Tuesday, possibly some heavier, more widespread rain as we get Wednesday started. So that will be an impact day for us. And we have at least a daily shower chance as we wind down May and look towards the early days of June as we get closer to next weekend. So on this Memorial Day, periods of rain, especially this morning and then again later into the afternoon, that's when we had that strong to severe threat. 78, our high temperature is going to be breezy with some gusts outside of thunderstorms that could be pushing close to 30 miles per hour. Storms should be wrapping up by about 10 p.m. Partly cloudy, still breezy overnight, so not as concerned about fog. Tomorrow, temperatures start to cool down. 73 with spotty showers. Again, that morning rain could impact things on Wednesday, just a high of 65. Then we start to warm things back up again. Temperatures climbing back into the 70s, even approaching 80 degrees as we get closer to next weekend. Uh, things look to stay dry for the early days of June.